Fermentation transforms foods in um, you know many uh, 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 important ways. I mean, you know, certainly the most widespread form of fermentation is the production of alcoholic beverages, um, and we could certainly think of um, you know wine as a strategy for preserving grapes, and, and it is. But obviously, wine is more than that, and alcohol is its own reward. Um, beyond alcohol. Um, preservation has just been, you know, the most important reason why people ferment food. And in many uh, temperate regions of the world, you know, human settlement would be impossible without fermentation. Um, you know, people need strategies to preserve food from the seasons of relative abundance to get them through the seasons of relative scarcity. And I would go so far as to suggest that agriculture would not be possible without fermentation. I mean, how could people ever invest their energy in crops that are ready at a certain moment of the year if they didn't have some strategies in mind for how they're going to preserve these crops to feed them through the rest of the year. So, you know, people, you know, have always observed that food over time changes and that depending on environmental conditions, it changes differently. Um, I'll bet virtually everyone in this room has already eaten or drunk fermented foods or beverages in the course of this day. I mean, bread, cheese, any kind of condiment that's vinegar-based or salad dressing that's vinegar-based, um, coffee, chocolate. I mean, it's just incredible how, you know, sort of thoroughly saturated our culinary traditions are. And it's not really just not the Western culinary traditions. Actually, I mean, China is probably the place on Earth that has, you know, the most different kinds of fermented foods and beverages as part of their cuisine. So, you know, literally thousands of years ago, people began to learn important lessons about how foods transform differently depending upon environmental conditions. And really what the practice of fermentation amounts to is manipulations of environmental conditions so as to encourage the growth of certain kinds of organisms and simultaneously discourage the growth of other types of organisms. You know, every head of cabbage, every carrot, every fish, every, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, steak is covered with microorganisms. And which of those will dominate depends entirely on environmental conditions. And that's why the practice of fermentation really amounts to these manipulations of environmental conditions. And, and people figured this out, you know, millennia before we had microscopes or the ability to identify specific microorganisms.